Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Mozilla Out. Welcome back to another round of one of the World Series 2023. Here today, we are with the red player up in the right, or top right, Forest of Camelot. This is the super weapon player that is Mojo, or Mojo Jojo. Think he's the favorite here, down in the bottom left. We have the purple super weapon for a player named Revenger. Yeah, I don't know too much about Revenger. I think I've played him a couple of times on the ladder. I don't think he's insanely strong, but I think he, uh, just by looking at here, he's been quite efficient. He's found the drone and stuff, so he clearly knows what he's doing. But I honestly can't tell you that much more about uh, Revenger. But Mojo is actually pretty good. I think he has... Um, I think his skill level might fluctuate, or how, how well he plays fluctuates, a bit like some other players. Um, but when he's on his A game, he is uh, quite a force to be reckoned with. And I think he's been spamming quite a lot. I think he's been playing team challenges and a lot of 1v1s. So I am expecting Mojo to be favorite here. And um, yeah, we'll see. we'll see how it pans out. Because currently, Mojo's got a barracks building on his base. And he thought about building a firebase. And he's kept his uh, CC. He's getting the oils down in the south position. Getting his dozer laser lock there. Winning all of the oils by the looks of it, apart from the one on the extreme of the map, which is in Revenger Space. It's actually quite a cute little uh, place to put a barracks, really, because you could tuck the dozer in the back there, which would ensure that your barracks always get up. You could do the, the barracks closer to the cliff, which then might block the missile defender. And actually, this drop from a Revenger is actually looking a little bit deadly there for Mojo. It's quite a lot of rangers here as well. Keeping his CC was a little bit passive. Looks like he might lose this Chinook, although the CC is blocking things. There's a dozer out. Mojo did get a bunch of oils there. He's got four oils to support his war machine. Those are for Revenger headed up to the top left. I think this actually looks a little bit winnable there for Revenger. He's claiming back that mid oil. Heading over to the bottom right. Gets the kill on this dozer, and maybe I am going to eat my words. Maybe this is going to be a Revenger stomping because he's he's getting this uh, bottom right spot. He's secured the oil. He's expanded. Okay, he's not got his second supply in his main base, though, which is a bit disappointing. It's a bit weird. You'd expand there, but you wouldn't just expand there and then drop down a war factory on in one place. I find that strange. Okay, Mojo gets his first V out. Dozer has gone for the crush there. And has now been shot down. Mojo looking to get this oil back. I would like Revenger to get this oil back ASAP. And I also think Mojo should have had that artillery platform. Because I think he had a few rangers dotted around. No reason why he couldn't have captured that as well. Okay, Mojo capturing this back. Revenger capturing this back. A load of missile defenders chilling in the base of Revenger. But he's building a war factory and a barracks now at the top of the map. Yeah, I just find this a little bit odd. Because if that position now got pushed by a V with like four MDs inside of it, this whole place would be wrecked. Any V that came out would be wrecked. Any tank that came out would be wrecked. Any uh, missile defender that came out would be shot before it exited. That those would be dead and these Chinooks wouldn't be able to collect. So that is a big risk. That against the top players, you will be punished. Uh, Mojo has finally cleared up this situation in his base, but that barracks really did cause him a problem. He's got loads of vetted rangers now, and these two Vs are going to descend on here. You need a few missile defenders out to laser lock these instantly, otherwise this position is at a risk. Okay, there are a few missile defenders here. A nice laser lock also from Revenger. Like, that was very, very quick. And that second one there, also very quick. And this position now has been cleared. Mojo also with a laser lock. 
Maybe a little bit slower though, but that V was also seemingly targeting the Ranger for a while there. Needed to crush the MDs, or at least shoot the MDs regularly. These oils have been captured and recaptured multiple times. Mojo loses another V down in the bottom right. Mojo now with a recapture of that oil in the middle again. Still find it weird that Revenger isn't on his second to find his main base. There's like flashes of brilliance from Revenger, but... Basically, what I said would probably happen is happening. Now, this position is getting wrecked, and it's uh, it's a huge investment. As soon as M MDs come out, it's good to deflect this, but the Vs are already deep in the back of the base. Those has been picked off. Chinook's getting picked off. The Chinook's not even getting moved, which are big losses. $1,200 every single Chinook. Bit of a scrappy battle here. These MDs should go down to the Vs. And this position's all been lost now. And I think Revenge has possibly thrown away a win here. Because losing this position is a huge, huge blow. But if he'd have just done the same build, but everything inside of his base, I honestly think he'd, uh, he'd be ahead here. And now he's been defeated. Yeah, again, flashes of brilliance there from uh, Revenger. I think, I think he even had Mojo, but I think he uh, kind of threw it. Yeah, 1-0 there for Mojo. Okay, jumping into the next one, down to the bottom left. With the super weapon in the red. This is Mojo. Up at the top right, we have the purple player with the super weapon. This is Revenger. I noticed both players' names, the difference of how they signed up. Mojo in the bracket is called Mojo Jojo. So why is he just playing under Mojo here? And Revenger in the bracket is spelt with double R, Revenger. But here it's just with one R. Like, why can't you just pick a name and stick with it? I have been asking that question to many players for many years. Nah, I get it if it's Clan Wars Month and you want to change your, change your name to something funky or whatever, because it fits a clan name better. I get that. Just when you change your regular name, even if you buy a little bit, I don't personally understand it. But <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot in this world I don't understand. So we'll just leave it at that. We got Revenger coming in with this drop. It looks like a dozer again, and three MDs I think was loaded up in that. It's going to drop off one MD over here, so that Chinook will no longer be able to collect. Those are dropped in the middle. Probably would have been more efficient to drop the dozer first and then do the drop. Because you've got to fly that way anyway. So you might as well do it efficiently, drop the dozer. He's not even doing anything with the dozer though. Maybe he was going to drop it there to like get the crush. Now he's dropping something over here. Just one MD. Hiding in the trees. I like that. Because if anything starts collecting there now, you can move them out of the trees. Avenger even with another MD, but one MD does struggle against Dozers. There you go, the MD's died, but so is the Dozer there. I do like these barracks down, down in the bottom right, by the way. You don't even have to drop a Dozer, you can literally just walk it from there to over there. Ranger fight down at the bottom right of the out for Mojo. Just clearing up in the middle. MD still in the base though. Mojo is losing Chinooks. Another MD here as well. Very nice there from Revenger. Dropped off in the trees and it has been missed again. And Mojo's going to lose even if another Chinook here. I think uh, 
probably doesn't matter so much because Revenge has gone for a low economy game anyway. So this is kind of weird. It's just never taken a second supply. Okay, okay, crush out from Revenger, but I mean, it's going to get captured anyway. You just lost the dozer, and they got one dozer left. So, I mean, it's all right going for all the drops in the world, killing all the schnooks in the world, but you're only collecting on one schnook the whole time anyway. So, I mean, unless you kill probably another two schnooks, the economy's still even. <laughs> in fact, Mojo's ahead because he's got his bottom right oils, and he's about to have that middle oil as well. So, he's about to have a three oil lead over you, and he's got um, three schnooks collecting versus your one, so... You're going to have to have like a 10 to 1 KD ratio for this to work out. Please look on one of the Vs there for Revenger. Loses another one as well. Expensive losses there for the super weapon. 850 each. That's a total of $1,700. Okay, never drop from Revenger. Oh, I'm not even another drop. He's just long distance collecting from the enemies. It's a bad use of Chinooks. There's too many mistakes for my liking for Avenger. As I said before, there's flashes of brilliance, flashes that he knows what he's doing. But like long distance collecting off your opponent's supply like this. Yes, yeah, sure, you're taking economy away, but you're also slowing down your own economy. And you're probably going to be dead by the time that runs out and before it actually impacts uh, Mojo properly. So... Yeah, he's kind of hiding in his base at the minute. Uh, Revenger. But Mojo's preparing some aggression. Okay, that was kind of efficient. He's killing two Vs. Laser Lock's going to come in on this V, though. V goes down. Yeah, that Chinook's still going in <laughs> to collect. I mean, it, it's saving its life by doing that, because if it was here, it would also be dead, just like this one. If he comes out, if Mojo's paying attention, should get laser locked instantly. And Revenger has been defeated. Yeah, a bit of a shame there for Revenger. I think with a bit more practice, if he's maybe a bit more active or a few more years experience or something, I think he, uh, I think he roughly knows what he's doing. But there's just too many mistakes. Like collected on one, one Chinook the whole game, uh, it just doesn't really make sense to me. Okay, jumping into the next one. We're now on Dralim Desert by Millard Nine. Down at the bottom left, we have the GLA Vanilla for the red player. This is Mojo. Up in the top right with the USA Laser for the purple player. That is Revenger. Mm, looks like kind of odd for um, supply and war factory placement. But it's not important to box in this matchup because a USA Dozer can go into a perfect box anyway. And actually, you can get Rangers dropped inside of your box and then you won't be able to defend it. It's kind of bad as well. Uh, another reason you don't want to box all, all the time is because when a Spectre gunship comes out against the USA, Spectre gunship can hit between and damage both buildings at the same time. So if you leave a bit of a gap like that, there's a chance that both of them buildings will still survive. Or at least one will survive. V coming in for Revenger. That is a complete waste, though, because you're going to give that bet too, and it's going to give him scrap. And now the following Vs are going to take more of a harder beating because that is going to be harder to kill and harder to deal with. Mojo expand into an extra supply on the left. Next arms dealer going up for Mojo as well. TNT comes through. I mean, if he hit a V there, if, as long as it had a few missile defenders in there, I would say that's probably still kind of worth it to keep the uh, keep the V numbers down, especially if he gets the kill 
cleanly on that. You see what I mean about how that technical is harder to deal with? That's why you shouldn't have wasted the first one. What you can actually do if you want to V-harass like that is drop it with a Chinook. So you drop the Chinook, run over a bunch of stuff, and then go back inside of the Chinook. Wow, he's got a super tech now. Okay, ambulance moving in. But is he going for a HSN lab kind of style here, which is basically minimal tunnels, but he will upgrade that super quick and then just spam loads and loads of tentacles. I think that is what he's doing, actually. It's minimal tunnels. You can see, like, one, two, three, four. Okay, he's building a fifth. But he's prioritized getting them upgraded to both reels. Plenty of workers there for Mojo, which I like to see. He's probably been watching the replay cast and seeing me slate in every time. Someone's got three workers or four workers. Really, really annoys me. Okay, Mojo loses that tunnel, but I think he cancelled it, though. Uh, and I think now you can afford to spam the technicals from both war factories. And I think you can afford to drop down more tunnels now. And I think more tunnels right now is what's needed. Uh, a line of tunnels across here. At least one there. Creeping forward here a little bit. Maybe like one here. Sealing off this, for example. Because now he's starting to float. See, so he's got a 2.6k. But he could be trying to rush out of palace. Could be doing that. Okay, V's getting picked off very, very efficiently. Mojo now floating 4.4k. Never agree with floating that much at this stage in the game. I think a palace would be ideal. And what you want to do is try and maybe hide it away from that drone. So that drone can see now that he's getting a palace. And it's also susceptible to Vs because the Vs can go through here. They can get to here and that palace can get cancelled. What you might want to do is like drop it like there. And then an additional tunnel to back it up. So then it's like kind of hidden in the corner. Like yes, this is providing some defense for the middle of the base. But also if that gets picked off... It's a big, big blow. And Purple Revenger is now trying to get some oils. Goes down the bottom right. It's going to get hit very, very slowly by this technical. Yeah, more tunnels going up for Mojo. Okay, technical from Mojo entering the base. If that's the TNT on the dozer. Ooh. Missed the trick there. Missed the trick, and it almost looked like it wasn't going to kill the supply. You would definitely hit that dozer. If you were playing the World Series against some of the top players, you would definitely go for the dozer. You could have hit that dozer with one of the TNTs, if you were confident and quick enough in your micro, by the way. Because that's the thing about some of the very top players. They're so confident and so quick. And they know they're quick. And they know they've got, got great micro. But they're a de more daring and they will go for things. That's why like X-Cals, TNTs on dozers and tech RPGs. On dozers always come in and do funky stuff. Um, and always get dozers. Like here now, for example. He's a little bit unconfident there because he unloaded everything. Like, some of the top players would go through, drop off one TNT, force fire to ground, and then go around the back and hit the power as well. That That's the possibilities here in this matchup, in that situation. Loads of technicals. The problem is, though, if he actually engages with MVs, he's going to have to funnel through these little gaps in the defense. Ideally, you want to be coming in from behind, so you trap him between the tunnel, the stinger, and the technicals. But it doesn't matter anyway. I think he's just got such superior numbers now. He could, he could chase that, man. He's, uh, he's dragging this game out longer than he needs to because you could have collected the scrap there chased all of that and it would have all been uh would have all been wrecked but he's probably just happy to sit back now on the mo on the buggies very comfortable in a win here for mojo i think okay shouldn't going down to the bottom right it's probably going for the oil The V's now against uh, buggies. Ooh. Revenger somehow found a way to get that oil. And I think Mojo's missed this Chinook that flew over. 
You don't want to be letting a player get oils for free like that. Okay, the group of V is now heading over to this position. Now, what, what Red should be doing is popping all of his stuff there and trapping this V army between that building, that tunnel, and behind. But what is he doing? At the minute, he's kind of just chilling. Anyone surely should know this army should be getting trapped right now. And that, uh, th these RPGs in here should be focused on the Vs. Not hitting the drones, but actually hitting the Vs. Missed opportunity there from Mojo. I'm going to say that he's dragging this game out unnecessarily. But every single V there is getting picked off. Could have even finished off both of them as well. But again, he's going back for absolutely no reason. Black Market being built in Mojo's base. Yeah, Revenger actually has that oil and that one. He's getting a bit close to these buggies, able to pick off a few. Every single V going down, Buggy's going to go and hit this oil up in the top left. Every building getting sold there for Avenger. GG will play 3-0 here for Mojo. Okay, jump into the next one. We've got USA Laser for the red player. That is Mojo. Down in the bottom left, we have the blue player with a GLA Vanilla. This is Revenger. Okay, forward supply here for Mojo. Seeing this quite often nowadays. They do this forward supply, and then with that same dozer, they will push forward and scout and try and find a worker. In this case, he's probably going to find this one. And that Chinook gives you the extra vision. I think this is wrong from Mojo. That one should be building the war factory, and that one should have been pressing forward to stop this. Yeah, Mojo doing it in the wrong order here. Also not getting his $100 UN crate, crate like Revenge it is. He might still stop that, and if he stops that, then it's still kind of okay, I think. But maybe this one is more dangerous, because this is where you're actually collecting from. Revenger only collects on two workers on his main supply. He tried to force fire the uh, tower then to stop the worker going in because when you select the worker to go in the tower, it'll just automatically try to repair. Um, what I actually think he could do here is actually force fire the tower from there and then the tower would have fallen on that $800 tunnel. Usually from the GLA, you see the first technical come with RPGs and a worker to go inside of that tower and then he will try to finish the tunnel. And most of the time, he probably will finish that tunnel. TNT there. Nice X split from Mojo. This TNT completely failing. That's a very, very bad start there for Revenger. Because he's only got one forward position and his TNT has been stopped. So them Vs can now, even without an ambulance, probably just go here and win the game. But if he gets an ambulance, then he definitely can. Yep, here we go. Hopefully Mojo is going to push out straight away. He's going to actually focus on this tower first. So actually what you can do, because that tower and the tunnel are so close to each other, you can actually shoot the tower. That's very beautiful, actually. Rare to see that. Nice, 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 nice. Technicals coming in now for Revenger. It's tech RPG, if I'm not mistaken. Those are picked up for Mojo. He's actually on three supplies now. Tech RPG. Oh, that's the one with the dozer inside of it. So you need to be careful with that one. I think it's going to go slow. Nope. He's now in for Mojo again. Picks up another technical. But we just have a correct micro here. These RPGs. Yeah, they're still locked on the back one. It's before micro there from Revenger. 
He should be shooting whatever one is closest. If he moves it back, it's frustrating, but you need to always shoot the closest one. Otherwise, your RPGs won't get any shots off and you will just die. Nice sneaky tunnel there from Revenger. But ultimately, he's only collecting on four workers on his right supply, and he's only on two supplies in the first place, whereas the USA is on three supplies. The Chile always wants to be on more than the USA, because the USA Vs are so efficient. Holy moly. What have we just seen? Why did Revenger just walk straight into a technical? Oh my god. I think Revenger now <laughs> might have an opportunity to win. How many Vs just went down there is absolutely ridiculous. This was a straightforward win for Mojo. I don't know why you would risk walking into a technical like that. It was pretty obvious that could be a TNT. One straight technical out by itself. You can even drag a box around it. If, if the unit selects, it means it's got nothing inside of it. And if it doesn't select, it means it's got something inside of it. You could have dragged the box, seeing it's got something inside of it. Definitely stay away from it. But even if it was empty, there's no way to run. There's no reason to run into it, because the splash damage from you shooting it might even kill uh, a V anyway. Extra supply from Mojo going up. But again, this game can be finished. If this army just goes straight to the arms, then it can be finished. Weird TNT there from Revenger. If that was four, you could have hit that and that. It would have slowed uh, Mojo down quite a bit. Or maybe that, that one and that one. Dozer is very injured. And Mojo is just kind of chilling for a second. CC being built. He has the oil up in the top left. Oil for Revenger gets picked off. The bottom right one's still in play. TNT there from Revenger. But there's only so many times these TNTs are going to work. As the V numbers build up, you're going to need an army at some point to deal with it. And currently has a bit of an army, but it probably has the same amount of technicals as there are Vs, but you need more because the Vs are so efficient because they can fire the MDs out. Uh, five Ace does get cleared though, and Mojo is some really poor micro here. Just walking straight into a whole bunch of technicals again. This micro is not World Series winning worthy. I'm sorry. Sorry to say that. He's just lost every single V. I don't understand if they have if the enemy has technicals, you don't just walk your entire army into the uh into the technicals. A little bit strange to say the very least there from Mojo. Saying that he has 15k as well. Instantly dropping down another war factory. He's getting a the strat there as well. you got to take into account, some players could be nervous here. But pretty much for every round, there's always a streamer. You know people are going to be watching your replays at some point. And, yeah, it could be nerves. I don't know. I just find walking straight into that TNT was strange and walking all of your Vs into a line of technicals when you probably had the superior numbers or at least the equal numbers. And with these, especially if you get the tow missile upgrade, which you should get as well, by the way. Um, and, and he had like a 15k float. He shouldn't be taking risks like that. With some decent micro there, all of them technicals would be wrecked.
But just think the next the next player who's gonna play. Let's let's say Mojo uh, progresses. He's currently 3-0 up. Let's see if, let's say he does progress. The next person who's gonna play him is gonna be watching that and thinking if the TNTs are that easy, he just walks his V's into it. They're gonna be uh, they're gonna be laughing. They're basically gonna say, "Oh, nice. <laughs> I'll go for a few of those myself." Yeah, I think he's just messing around at this stage. <laughs> What are we seeing? He's in the airfield. With a few drop zones right by it. And now he's making Comanches. Okay, well, the Comanches are going to counter the tentacles, but currently he's not using them. I mean, he doesn't want to reveal them, and that's totally fine. Okay, Comanche's now in play. Oil in the bottom right belongs to Mojo and stays belonging to Mojo. There are buggies out now, but now there should be more Comanches. A10 coming through. It's going to be on a market. Can be cancelled. Revenger does cancel it. Only loses a worker for the A10. CC being built. Maybe he's going to cancel it. Because once you've placed it, there's a bug in the game where it keeps you giving the bounty money. It's building a CC there as well now. Some of these games, man, I do wonder why I'm watching them. Oh, well, what is he doing? He's just try he's just messing around trying to stay in the game. <laughs> <laughs> GG. I would say well played. <laughs> I would say well played. But on this unprofessional um, period of time, <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to say GG. Okay, jumping into the next one. We have the red player with the China Vanilla up in the top of Tournament Desert. This is Mojo. Uh, down in the south position with the blue player with the Chile Demolition. This is Revenger. Thing here, you, you favor the demolition because if it go, if it goes any time late, you drop down some stingers tunnels, and it becomes very very hard for the China. You've got um, demo bikes to counter infernos, you've got quads and stingers to counter helixes. No matter what the China makes, demo's got an answer for it. You've got Jean Michel with demo charges and stuff like that. You can easily more harass with the demo. You can do a decent TNT in the beginning as the demo. So so many things going for the demo. The advantages China has is you can produce helixes and the quads are a bit expensive for demolition so they cost in 750 as opposed to 700 for stealth and for GLA. Okay, TNT over there gets stopped by the Helix. It is revealed now, so he should start producing quads. So far, I don't know if even one unit has come out from there, which I think that is a bit slow. Normally, by about 130, 140, you can have at least a technical out. What, what build is he doing? One, two, three, four tunnels. Hmm, I, I think there should be a technical out. That, that should be getting denied. From uh, by Revenger, he's got a quad out now. Because technical is faster than a helix, so you can um, you can run around. Just keep the helix busy whilst you build other stuff like more tunnels, more quads, more RPGs. He's trying to push forward. But there's three helixes now in play. Three helixes can counter that, I think.
Okay, TNT probably coming in from Revenger. Goes to the War Factory. That should have been cancelled by Mojo. Wasn't 100% paying attention, though. There's a 4K in the back. One Helix goes down, but all of this ultimately is going to get cleared up. There's more quads coming, though. Just one. Quad is extremely low. Mojo very indecisive there. Very, very indecisive. It's also not quite a perfect supply, I think. Tricks are moving a tiny little bit there. Another helix now produced. Mojo's got his war factory up. But Revenge it. It's not taking any pressure off anytime soon. He continues to push. But he doesn't have his oil. Given how slow his first technical was. In fact, the technical didn't even exist. We're going to say he should have rushed out on oil. But we didn't see that. Helix is coming in, but there's four quads there, so you do need to be careful about this. I think the Helixes could have pushed that position. When he realized the quads were over here, you could have pushed left. But he probably only just saw this. It's looking like that left supply will go down. He's building a new power back here. RPGs are getting run over. And they're also not targeting the dozer, which I find very strange. Helix is now moving into this left-hand side position. These helixes are taking immense damage. There's going to be a lot of helixes going down here, I think. Holy moly. Three helixes on low HP. Maybe with some better target in there of the quads. You see how that one's damaged? Some better target in there on the quads. Maybe all three of them helixes could have gone down. That's a very, very close engagement there. I think Mojo's lucky to lose zero helixes. <laughs> Living on the edge of death there a little bit. That's really bad for Avenger. He's lost pretty much every single quad and didn't kill a single unit. They can all be repaired now, and they've got veterancy. So the next fight, they're going to be even harder to kill. Okay, TNT for Revenger hits the Dragon Tank. Just walks two more Dragon Tanks into TNT, just as you do. I mean, he likes walking into TNT, so he might as well, might as well see it a few more times. <laughs> okay, there's six Helixes out now for Mojo. CC being built by Mojo. I would like to see that a little bit closer to the edge of the map. So if it comes to it later, when the quads do an inevitable big push into your base, Support powers come from directly inside of the map, and the quads have no chance to react. But these helixes are too big in numbers now, and it all stemmed from that battle up at the top left. And I don't know, even if he pop now, I don't think he can stop it. But if definitely if he pops now, everything is dead. He's not even going for some kind of a counterattack. He's only got two quads to his name. And Revenger here is unfortunately getting eliminated from the World Series without winning a game today. But it's a shame because he, ha he had big potential in some of the games. Like I said before, flashes of brilliance. But just sometimes it's a little bit too weird. Like, he's only just getting his oil now. But he did no early aggression. So, it, you either do one of the two. You go, you go for a bigger economy, or you go for some early aggression. He did zero. In fact, he's building another CC inside the enemy base, which I don't like. <laughs> I mean, he's just messing around and he's trying to stay in the World Series as long as he can. But I would rather him just do a normal build order than trying to mess around with CCs. Uh, at least an empty technical should be going across the map, checking the oil situation. Especially when his TNT was over here anyway, he saw the red guard, so your first technical should be there straight away. As usual. What's he going to say? I haven't, as usual, I haven't trained, therefore I lost. <laughs> As usual, only in the tournament. Losing. Yeah, okay. Well, rather than messing around with beacons, feeling sorry for yourself, and placing silly CCs, why don't you just do a normal build order? When does... When, when do you not go for an oil capture, and when do you also not go for some early aggression? You either do one or the two. 
like that that oil on the top right should have been stopped. The targeting of the helixes in the top left should have been should have been better. And the the first game when he dropped that barracks inside of the base on Forrester Camelot, that probably should have been a win. He had like four royals on a, on a drop inside of his, uh, Mojo's base that Mojo was really struggling with. Mojo gifted him uh, about 10 Vs into a TNT. Uh, he gifted him a lot of things there actually throughout this set, but he feels sorry for himself. But he's still good. He's still good. He's better than some of the people in the tournament. He still gave it a good go. But there's no point feeling sorry for yourself. Life is tough. <laughs> Life is tough. You've got to continue. Train hard and you will go on to achieve things. So yeah, GG well played. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.